This past Tuesday was National Donor Day. It's held every February 14th to raise awareness of the life-saving benefits of organ, eye, and tissue donation. Tonight, about 120,000 Americans are on the national transplant waiting list. In China, population 1.4 billion, there is a severe shortage of organ donors. Adriana Diaz shows us how science is bridging the gap. Scientists here are working on a possible breakthrough to restore sight. But the eyes they're using aren't human. They're from pigs. So these are actual eyeballs from pigs? Yes. I feel like they're all looking at me. <laughs> oh, you, you don't have to look at it. <laughs> yeah. Zheng Kangxiao is CEO of China Regenerative Medicine International, the company pioneering the procedure that makes pig corneas suitable for human transplant. We do try, you know, many, you know, animals. Finally, we conclude, you know, the pig's colony is very similar to the human. Organ donations are rare in China. By tradition here, bodies should be left intact. But with four million Chinese with cornea disease, demand far outstrips the corneas available. Now surgeons like Wei Yun Shi deal in swine daily. So far, doctors have performed 400 cornea transplants with a 95 percent success rate. When your patients come in and you propose giving them a cornea from a pig, what's their reaction? We don't usually say it's from a pig, he told us. We say it's an engineered product. But it's from a pig. If we said that, some would refuse it he said, though others probably wouldn't care, as long as they're cured. Construction worker Li Ping was left blind in one eye after an infection and could no longer support his family. So he paid almost $6,000 for the transplant, but he didn't know he owed his sight to a pig until we told him. Can you believe that part of your eye used to be part of a pig? How should I feel, he said, but it's a lot better than not being able to see. <laughs> Seeing his future again with fresh eyes. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Jinan, China.